What's going on guys? So today we are changing the oil in the Silverado for the first time, me doing it. Um, and I had a lot of questions on the previous video where I did the oil change. I took it to the dealership and I swapped all the wheels and tires around. Obviously, you know, this is not very dealership friendly. You have to leave the truck and they have to hop in it and you have to hope they don't take the fenders off. Anyways, that's why I put the stock wheels back on. But some people were like, why don't you just change your own oil instead of taking it to the dealership and going through the house and swap the wheels and tires over and stuff. And honestly, it's simply because when you buy a new truck, you get a couple oil changes free. Depends on the dealership and country and whatnot. I think I read somewhere like Canada, I think they get like six free oil changes, which is in, it's incredible. But um, I got two with mine. So the first two oil changes, obviously, I'm gonna take it back to the dealership to get free oil change. And that way, if you have a lemon or something, the first two oil changes are like, well, y'all changed the oil, so for sure, y'all's problem. So, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it today. I always. I've always done them on all my Mustangs. I've never taken them back to the dealership. It's my third Mustang, and I always just do the oil change because it's an oil change. Anyone can do it, but I have had some requests on me doing it, how to do it, what I use, blah, blah, blah. So this is what I'm going to be using, but this is what you need. So obviously, drain pan, filter, or funnel, 15-millimeter um, socket for the drain bolt. Small extension helps, ratchet. I went with the Wix filter. There's your part number. Wix filter, I mean, you know, you can pick whatever filter and oil you want, but this is just what I went with. So then I got some Valvoline, got the 0W20, and Chevrolet pretty much just says whatever has is De Dexas approved. They're happy with keeping your warranty with that. So I went with a Valvoline. I've never used Valvoline actually, and I've never used a full synthetic either, but hey, we're going with that. This is what she's gonna get. She's getting some pretty good stuff. Um, a creeper as well, that helps. My truck is thankfully high enough to wear I can you know get under there and do everything so it's pretty basic and don't mind the bow tie missing this is being filmed in between me finishing the whole painting of the front end so uh yeah but uh, i'm gonna guess get to going and kind of just walk y'all through the process so step one we're gonna take this off so we can get some air in the system i'm not even gonna take it all the way off just leave a gap because as you can see pine trees pollen is insane and i don't want you know it's like blowing like crazy in the wind i'd rather it not get all in the engine so i'm just gonna leave that cap cap on there a little bit rather than it being all the way off that's probably way overly too precautious but better safe than sorry so it's still gonna allow air in there but it's not gonna let crap fall in there anyways all right so let's dive under the truck so 15 millimeter socket lefty loosey righty tighty I always usually just try to take note of how tight it was on there when you take it off. Try to put it on there similarly. And there we go. She is nice and warm. And you know what I forgot? To get a rag. So that also should be in your what you need. <laughs> All right, let's get this oil filter off. So this is why you don't go mud. Don't go in the mud, period, ever. So it gets everywhere. Let's see if I can get this off without a tool. Oh, it's gonna be difficult. All right, so I got one. Kind of an awkward position, but we'll try to get it out of here. Crazy tight. That gum. If I burn myself on this cat right here one more time, I know y'all can't see it, but I keep touching it with my arm and it's about to make me go crazy. Ugh. There she comes. This thing gonna make a mess on this cross member too. That's got me a little upset. Oh. Well, that's got a decent amount more oil than I expected. Yikes. 
Alex, that's hot. I'm gonna let that drain for a little bit. We got our old one, obviously, and our new one right here. So, as you can see, the seal is still on this one. You gotta make sure that doesn't come off, because if that comes off, and you put this one over it, you're gonna have a bad leak, and it's gonna get real bad real quick. So, we're good on that end. The seal's still on here. But this being a, a, a filter, you kind of want to prep it. So some people have different views on this. If you watch oil change videos, some people will. Some people will just like oil this ring. Some people will not do anything, which I don't believe to be the smartest thing. And then some people, like myself, will pre-oil the filter. Because if you don't, when you crank the truck, this thing's bone dry. And it's got to filter through here before it can run through the rest of the truck, whatever. So I just like to do a little pre-oil. Let's try to not make a mess because this is Valvoline's Easy Pour bottle. Let's see how good that is. So we just want to... I mean, since this filter is mounted vertically, um, you can actually, I guess, fill this whole thing up and it not be a big deal like other vehicles that have them horizontal and then you spill it everywhere, but this one is vertical, so... I guess you can fill it all the way up if you want, put it straight on there. But you do want to oil this ring up so it makes a good seal. But you do definitely want to get the filter oiled so it's not a dry start. It'll already be have oil in the system. Hopefully y'all can see at this angle, but I'm just going to take a clean part of this rag and clean that off a little bit. And as well clean this guy off. I'll go back afterwards and clean this cross member, but just want a clean clean slate for it to seal properly too. All right, let's get this guy on there. And I spilled some nice oil on the filter, so it's gonna be fun. Dry it off real good, but Yep, that's about as tight as I can get it with it being slippery. So let me grab the drain bolt. Put our drain bolt back in. Make sure the seal is on the drain bolt, but it should, should be fine. But just nice and snug. This filter on there. Snug. But I think we're all done under here. So let's hop up top and start filling her up. All right guys, so if we go over to our owner's manual, we've got right here, engine oil with filter, 5.3 V8, 7.6 liters, eight quarts. So eight quarts, just like the Mustang, using zero W20. So they got this thin oil, but they got a crap ton of it. So uh, yeah, that's what she calls for, eight quarts. But we're gonna probably put about seven in there and check her and crank it up probably and you know go from there because you never know if you got all of it out but most likely we probably did but we'll we'll check so let's go ahead and fill her up so i am actually sitting in the engine bay here is a perfect place where a second battery could go that you can put your feet this is honestly not the best funnel so i'm hoping i don't make a mess and get it all over the exhaust and everything else but let's try it So I figured the easiest way to get this accurate, not have to be like pouring it, checking it, that kind of crap. We'll just pour using the measurements down there. I don't know if y'all can see them. We'll just pour it into the one we just used and then we'll have it perfect. So we'll just fill this one up with two quarts. So that'll be five going in the first container and then six, seven. We won't have to make any guesses and we won't have to mess with a full bottle so it'll be even easier to pour all right so if we look on here right there obviously i'm not holding it too level but 
that's the two quarts. So now we've put two quarts in here. So that'll be five, six, seven quarts. We'll put it in the truck. It's definitely easier if you sit in it, honestly. Oh, with that whole thing without spilling any, I moved it and did three drops on the steering column. Let's pull the dipstick out and see how she's looking right off the bat. I need to find a clean rag. And when I say clean, I mean like that in between. You don't want to use a good rag because then you just ruined it. But you also don't want to use a dirty one because then you could get dirt and crap on your dipstick. Y'all can even see that. Great. I just dropped a little drip. She's right there at the very perfect part. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and crank her up. Double check for any leaks. Let her sit for a minute and then we will check to see what she's reading. All right guys, so ended up going back, adding about a uh, half a quart. So we ended up putting about seven and a half, a little bit over that. So the re recommended or the required supposed eight quarts. You don't always get all the oil out. So uh, just about did though. And so she's she's good. She's got fresh oil, oil pressure's good, no leaks. Only other thing we gotta do is go in here. Well, I say the only other thing on the truck itself. Just gotta go in here. There's our oil life, 33%. Hold the check down. I'm sure that's how it resets. And we're at 100%, so that's good to go. All right, guys, so last thing that you really wanna do is if you change your own oil, you wanna keep record of it because everything I've read and everything, as long as you have record of using the correct oil um, at the correct time, everything like that. You just keep records of receipts and everything. Your warranty should not be affected if you do have any issues. And so if you look in your owner's manual, you've got all these, on the back pages, you've got all these lines. So you can go in there, write down the date, your mileage, your oil, oil and filter, everything like that. And then that way you can keep track of it. You can see 4-1-2019. I don't know when y'all see this video. It'll actually probably be quite some time after this date, which I'm doing it on, but Valvoline 020, oil, Wix filter, 12,448 miles. Keep your receipt for this so you have proof. I will look up here. Last time it was at Hendrix Automotive and that was uh, recommended oil at 12,480. So we're about 30 miles ahead of schedule and the date was 4-15-19. So we are 14 days ahead of schedule. So we're looking awesome totally totally awesome so uh you just keep this obviously in your owner's manual you just keep this in your glove box every time you can do that you can go on your uh if you got an iphone or something you can set in your calendar six months or however long three months you want to go or an oil change intervals and have a reminder of hey change your oil whatever and uh, that's a good idea just to keep on top of your oil changes and stuff so you don't forget all right guys well that's pretty much it i am all done uh you know a couple days from now obviously check your oil make sure your level's still good wherever you park the truck make sure that you're not seeing any drops of oil on the ground or anything like that that way you know you're not leaking and you know if you need to add some oil a couple days on the road add it top it off whatever you know you should be good to go keep record of what you're doing it in case you run into any warranty issues or anything like that and i'm pretty sure that's it so obviously oil change pretty basic not too major it is directly related to something very important like your engine so it's kind of a kind of a little worrisome you know maybe not everyone should change their oil or if you have paranoia issues where you're like oh my gosh did i tighten this bolt did i put enough oil in you know it's not worth the stress of that just go take it somewhere let them change it or whatever but um, i would recommend for sure 
go and, and try it yourself. If you feel comfortable, do it yourself. You'll save some money, not necessarily very much, depending on your dealership and what vehicle you have. But um, yeah, it's a good experience. It's not hard to do. Um, yeah, hopefully this video, if you didn't know certain parts of it or something, maybe in this video you learned something, I doubt it, but hopefully you did. Hopefully you did enjoy, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to clean up all this mess and then probably go for a drive, come back, check the oil, because I'm kind of one of those paranoid people that think overly think overthink stuff like that. So um, yeah, but with all that being said, hopefully you did enjoy, and I will see y'all in the next one.